Welcome back to the Rope Access Channel. In this video, I will show you a different technique of passing a double deviation. Let's get into it. In a previous video where I demoed this, I showed you a way where you use your positioning lanyard to create a third point towards the structure, so you can just position yourself easily and move the deviations from the bottom to the top of your system. There are a few other ways. I will show you one now where I use my casualty descender and backup device to not even open these carabiners. Just first, take the casualty backup. And I'm gonna put it on the tail end of the rope coming out of my descender. So my main line, the green line in this video, is going through the deviation and on the bottom I have my second backup device. I will take my casualties descender and attach it to my D-ring and to the short connection I have towards the casualty. And I will do the same thing. I'm going to take the rope that's coming from my backup on top of the double deviation is going to be my descender below the double deviation. I'm gonna hand tight it. I'm gonna get as close as possible. The only room I have margin for movement is the distance between is the length of the absorber of my backup device. So I'm going to try to get just a little bit closer with one small swing. There we go. Now I continue my descent on my main line until I'm midway, so both these senders are loaded. This is where a lot of people make an error of just taking this off and descending, but then I'm going to create a lot of slack above my new backup device. So what I do is I take my ASAP and put it on my old main line, the green line in this case. I continue my descent until I'm fully suspended from my new descender. Take out the friction carabiner. release some more tension and when I'm in this position I will tell you about the sponsor of this video. The sponsor of this video is Industrieel Klimme, situated in the Netherlands right above Amsterdam and they have a beautiful training center where they teach any training related to working at height. It might be you need your GWO done, your IRATA or any kind of training in between. There's first aid, fire awareness, all the good stuff. There's a beautiful physical store next door where you can come and try out new equipment. And if you're not able to make it in person, then you can always visit the web store. The link will be in the description. So to continue the move, now I can demonstrate why you need this second, need to move this ASAP over one extra time. Because if I take the rope out of my descender, I get this much slack above my backup device. So that will be a pretty big fall. And right now, 
all the slack is out. Then I can remove my backup device. Everything is below the deviation. I get my friction carabiner. I will do some rope management. There we go. And I'm ready to descend down. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment to tell you Tell me what you think about this method of passing a double deviation. I will see you in the next one. Stay connected. Woo! What have we done here?